Once we've finished all our timing for our video, we can check our timing by pressing the Auto Preview Sync button. Now it's important to note that the Auto Preview Sync button will begin in whatever caption we have selected first. So if we'd like to start at the top, we select the top caption. We press the Auto Preview Sync button and you'll notice that the captions appear where they were assigned by the start and stop time code. Now it's important to note that typically video that's imported virtually through Windows Media Player or QuickTime start at zero. Now this is not the case on master tapes or timelines. Typically they start at one hour. So in order to fix that, we can ripple our time code. This is a special feature found in Caption Maker. To do the ripple, you simply select the top caption or the caption you'd like to ripple, right click on it, select ripple, and change the start time code to reflect the one hour mark. We will press OK. And now we note that all of our captions are rippled to one hour.